So in this video here, we're gonna take a look at the mid cavity iron category here, which is maybe the iron that sort of suits that sort of low single figure golfer to a sort of uh, low teens uh, type of golfer. I'm gonna give you my top five favorites from 2018 through my personal uh, thoughts as through my reviews I've done throughout the year of these uh, irons, but also through our fitting um, sessions here at the Academy on a daily basis and what maybe what the, the average golfers are sort of choosing to put in their bag. So just before we jump into the video, I always appreciate you watching the videos as always. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, then please consider doing so. Ring that bell so you get notifications of any videos. As soon as it lands on my channel, you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it, so you're not gonna miss a thing. Also follow up on my social media platforms, so both Instagram and Twitter, and the handles there are both at mngolfcoach. Okay, so the mid cavity iron, that's what I was sort of calling this category. It's hard to really put an exact name on this. But this sort of iron here, which has got a bit of cavity, a bit of uh, forgiveness in there, but it's also starting to get that more neat to compact look and maybe some forge head offerings also coming into this category. For me, it's a popular one because a lot of golfers will like that sort of neat to look, maybe don't like that big thick top edge, that big offset. But at the same time, they also need that little bit of forgiveness um, behind the club head. So this category sort of tends to offer bit of both uh, worlds here. So for us, it's been a very popular uh, category for a lot of golfers. So I'm gonna give you my top five favorites of this category for 2018. So coming in at number five, and my top five of the mid cavity irons is the PXG 0311P iron. Okay, so obviously we know PXG is a very expensive product, but for me, it is beautiful. It, 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 the feel of it is, is sensational, which is one of the reasons why I've put it into this uh, top five. I love this. If, if I have a few minutes spare, I tend to pick up this iron and just want to hit it. The feel of it is absolutely gorgeous. So the P iron is the second iron in their series. So they do a T iron, which is the smallest, um, more compact sort of head, which is the tall one. This is called the player, so slightly bigger. And then they go into the XF, which is the extreme forgiveness, which is a bit more gay improvement uh, but like I say the feel of this is stunning the look is great and this is a, a seven iron which is lofted at 31 degrees of loft so it is a little bit on that stronger side uh, but again the looks are lovely so a little bit of offset sort of medium top line very nice sort of shaping on it let's get this first one hit but the feel is it, it absolutely stunning you know it's very soft feeling forged head i think it's very much obviously it's in this uh hollow category of irons we've seen a lot of the um brands bringing out now and obviously with the pxg it is filled with a substance a urethane substance so i think for me that gives it that that sound that right acoustic which very much resembles that buttery soft feel that you would associate with a quality forged iron feels absolutely beautiful. The feel off the face is stunning. It's maybe just the price point that hasn't bumped it up into my um, ranking here, but uh, feel-wise, absolutely stunning. The look of it back, again, is a little bit, maybe what I call like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. I quite like it. I think it's a um, bit industrial looking, doesn't bother me. I don't see that when I'm sitting it down by the golf ball. That's more important to me what it sits like, and it does sit really good, but it feels amazing. So coming in at number five is the PXG 0311P iron. Okay, so my number four place in here in my top five mid-cavity iron section is the Titleist 708 AP3 iron. Okay, so since this launched, this has been massively popular and I think Titleist have always been crying out to have this model in their iron uh, category. So we see AP2 and then AP1 for a number of years. And for me, there was always a gap between those two iron. AP2, traditional lofting, very small, compact, beautiful feeling golf club. And then you drop into a big, chunky, sort of game improvement iron with AP1. So there's no uh, progression there between those two irons until AP3 came out. And it's a great move from Titleist because it's a beautiful looking golf club. It's 
very much that AP2 look, slightly longer blade length, so minimal offset, finished top edge there. So it does look very much like a player's iron, but is packed behind with quite a lot of technology. There's a lot of tungsten in, in this. We've got a little bit of hollowness in, in the head here also, um, and, it, and it looks beautiful behind the ball. Okay, so let's get this first one hit. Yeah, good. So very different feel to that PXG because this isn't forged, so we're not going to feel as buttery soft uh, maybe as that PXG. That was 180 carry, so that was a good sort of hit. So again, this 7 iron is lofted in at 31 degrees, so still a little bit on that stronger side. I think when you get into this category, you still tend to see these lofts in that stronger area, so they're maybe just slightly weakening off from maybe that... Um, game improvement iron category but you still start seeing some fairly strong loss it does give a good blend of distance with some good looks which again ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of golfers yeah lovely high towering flight definitely more of a harder feel louder contact in relation to that pxg that was a right of the flag there Maybe just not stopping quite as quick there. So we we'll see him maybe just not quite the control when it comes into land for that, for me particularly. Anyway, so that's just under 5,000 spin. So a little bit low on that spin number there with the AP3. But coming in at number four is a Titleist AP3. So number three in my top five mid-cavity iron category is the Mizuno JPX 919 and it's the Forged. Okay, so we know JPX 919 Range is three options, there's a tour, the forge, and the hot metal. Hot metal made it in my top five, in my cavity back iron, uh, game improvement section, and this is also making a feature. Very popular iron, it, again, it ticks a lot of boxes. You've got that no, those nice looks behind that golf ball, minimal offset, medium sort of top line, lovely color in that satin chrome, but you've got that little undercut at the back in the cavity, so we've got some forgiveness packed in there. Also, Okay, so let's get the first one hit with the Forge from Mizuno. Ah, oh, stunning. I mean, we're back into that lovely soft feel that we saw with the PXG there. Really high sort of towering ball flight. Now this is lofted at 32 degrees, so slightly weak in those first two irons that I tried, uh, but still in that fairly strong sort of category. Oh, it feels amazing. Feels as a Mizuno feels. Nothing else feels like a Mizuno, as they say. And that stops really quick. That's 173 carry, but that is spinning. Yeah, just under 8,000 there with a 7 -9. It's amazing. I saw, I did a recent video with this against, uh, oh, blam, I can't remember what it was now. I'll put a little link up. It'll come to me probably later. But I did see a really high control. I think it was a Shrixen, um 585 i think it was all the 785 anyway uh and it, it stopped really quick the spinning was superb and that is also so you've got a great looking club there very nice feel as we know with the mizuno and it spins and controls really well so you probably think well why is this not number one or number two and again we're just maybe going through a little bit of my personal thoughts of these irons but also what we see customers choose the club golfers your average golfers in a way are choosing through fitting sessions so, coming in at number three is the JPX 919 Forged Iron. Okay, so we're now into the top two irons, and this for me was a really tough one to sort of choose between them. So coming in at number two of my top five mid cavity irons category is the Ping I-500. So recent launch of I-500 in, I think it was October time, so fairly late into the year 2018, but I did want to put it in there because since it's launch, it's, the, the, it's been very, very popular. And again, Ping were crying out for an iron in this category. Um, you know, so it's all about sort of a bit more explosive speed, what we saw in the G700, but in a very much a player's package in terms of a look. So thinner sole, much more appealing as you sit that down by the golf ball, a bit more of a squat look, very similar to the sort of eye blade shaping on their minimal offset, sort of medium, sort of top edge. So very nice players looking club, but packed with a lot of forgiveness and a lot of power also. Okay, so we're gonna get this first one hit with the seven iron here in the Ping i500. Yeah, 
yeah, it feels, it feels great. It is loud, I think, because again, it's that hollow design, but we know with a ping, it's not filled with anything. So that acoustic maybe just echoes a little bit for me. And I think that's where we get that little bit of a louder crack to the sound. So maybe the sound might put a few golfers off possibly. Yes, it does say forged on the back of the head, but it's a forged face. The whole body of the club isn't forged. So um, it doesn't really feel like a forged club in my view anyway. I mean, it, fe it feels nice. It's just a little bit louder, but it's just in comparison to say maybe that PXG that we've hit before, it's very different sound. It's, it's, it's not as soft a feeling as the PXG or even the Mizuno for that matter. So this 7-iron is coming in at a loft of 30.5 degrees. So again, it's in that slightly stronger category, but what we tend to see with the i500 it does launch really high and I'm, I'm sort of seeing that there but also with a really good um sort of spin number and control when it comes into land it's a beautiful look behind the golf ball yeah lovely high towering flight nice and accurate yet again mid 70s and looks to be stopping pretty quick 173 carrying stopping pretty quick so very very popular one this is obviously going to be carrying on into 2019 but it definitely made it in there at number two even though it launched very late in the year very very popular ping as a brand as we know got a very loyal following great quality the build is superb the process just love the whole brand um you know just with the quality of it basically and, and the way they do things they don't really sort of shout about the technology as maybe as other brands do they just sort of go around make some good stuff go around their own business and just keep churning out good products uh, every sort of 18 month cycle so stays in the range a little bit longer than maybe other brands also so number two in my top five mid cavity iron category is the ping i500 okay so moving into my top pick in the top five mid cavity irons for 2018 and it's the tailor-made p790 iron okay this has just been phenomenal on fittings through sales that we've definitely seen and i think this is a theme that we've seen maybe from what tailor-made are also saying the sale numbers of this have just been out of the uh, out of the world now i could totally understand why because obviously again it's this it's this hollow uh, concept we've got speed foam in there again how much does speed foam help i don't know but i think through the sounds and the acoustics it makes a big difference to how it sort of feels so we're seeing this forged head we're seeing this um obviously this hollow design so which which we know is going to provide us with a lot of forgiveness maybe a little bit of more of that springier club face for those hotter speeds but again a very nice package as you sit it down by the golf ball a little bit of offset medium sort of top line but a very nice sort of shaping and again it, it ticks all the boxes for a lot of golfers which is probably why it's been so popular it's forgiving it's pretty hot off the club face for distance but you've also got a nice feel and the looks are lovely behind the golf ball so as i say it's it's easy to see why it's been such a popular option okay so we'll get this first one hit with the p790 Oh, right. Okay, that was a little bit low in the face. Now, we've got speed slots still in the 790. So, I'm guessing that's going to keep that ball speed up. So, a decent carry, 184. So, it's long. You know, and we've definitely seen that through our fitting sessions that it is pretty long in terms of hitting, even though it's a forged iron, which sometimes you associate maybe we're not no distance basically uh, as being more sort of just a softer feel, but less distance where this is still pretty strong. Yeah, lovely. Really nice. High towering ball flight. Again, that was a little bit low in the club face. But again, hitting target nicely. Decent distance, 176. And stopping pretty quickly there also. So, definitely number one. I get, well, to be fair, it was a tough choice between that i500 and the 790. But I think purely because of the response we've had through customers with this through our fitting sessions, that's what's made it to number one in my top five of mid cavity iron section so hopefully you enjoyed that video comment down below let me know your thoughts on my top five picks whether that sits in with you or do you feel like i've left something out there i mean we do hold sort of nine brands here at london golf Canvas. we've got a pretty pretty high sort of choice of clubs to go at but that's definitely my top five that we've seen through me personally and also through our fitting sessions here thanks very much for watching always appreciate you watching as always if you haven't hit that subscribe button please consider doing so ring that bell get notifications any future videos follow my social media platforms both instagram and twitter and they are both at mngolfcoach and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon